the FBI with Efren Symbolis Jr. Oh, I remember the TV show when I was just a kid, but I'm old, so you probably never saw it. But I remember they would have the most wanted, they had the stories about all this law enforcement stuff. Today, the FBI is no longer into the law enforcement business is their primary objective. I couldn't believe it when I was looking through this material here. Mission no longer law enforcement. So exploring deeper, I see that the FBI has officially changed their primary mission from law enforcement to something else. But what could that something else be? What is more important than, than law enforcement? This is the FBI, for heaven's sake. The answer is national security. That's right. In a world of growing terrorism and anticipated new terror attempts on U.S. soil, the FBI's primary function now is national security. There you go. Well, I could end it right there, but let's just give a couple more tidbits. What isn't being widely reported is that when the FBI quietly reassigned 2,400 agents from law enforcement to counterterrorism in the post-9-11 years, there was a dramatic drop in something else, right? Prosecution of white-collar crimes. So, if white-collar crimes dropped from 10,000 cases to only 3,500 by 2005, what do you suppose happened? Well, the uh, Seattle Post Intelligencer investigated this, and they found out that the FBI continued at a normal prosecution, had they um, continued at a normal prosecution rates of white-collar crimes, there would have been about 2,000 more white-collar criminals behind bars. The law of unintended consequences did indeed kick in, and it led to a few things like the 2008 Great Recession because of the subprime mortgage crisis. You know, hey, white crime criminals, you know, they see that they're not being investigated. Eh, you, do, you do what you do, and it happened. Uh, by shifting from that mundane law enforcement stuff to the more glamorous James Bond spy versus spy type of stuff, counterterrorism work, there's an extra bonus, a couple extra bonuses. The FBI gets more government funding and it gets special exemptions on disclosure cases. So a, li a little bit more cloak and dagger, a little bit less public accountability, a little few, a few more perks, and some of the criminals get away. Foreign Policy Journal published an article on this topic, ending with the following statement about what might happen to anybody who dares question this new FBI shift of focus. And I quote, you get all the wonderful arguments about how if you don't get your way, buildings will blow up and the country will become less safe. Fear yourself.